Okay guys, happy Fitness Friday. So it's live and live here at Apple Athletic Club and super excited to introduce you to my friend Sam. So I know a lot of you recognize Sam because he's one of our employees here at Apple Athletic Club. That's right, I've been here for about a year and a half. And how working. did you start your fitness journey? Well, my fitness journey really started with um, my mom, Juliana Walters and Ben Walters. They are both personal trainers here at the club. Um, and they've been doing it for a long time. My mom competed and that was really the, the catalyst that kind of jump-started me into wanting to be in the fitness community and kind of start there. And so, yeah. Yes, so the topic today for your Fitness Friday, because it's not just about physical. Exactly. Endurance. It's right. not just about how much you lift, how much cardio you get in a day, how many calories you burn. But what is our topic today, Sam, for our Fitness Friday? So the topic today is pretty much gonna be how to overcome mental hurdles when you're trying to achieve certain fitness goals. Okay, so what are some of the things that you have to confront as far as some of those mental holdbacks? So as far, one of the biggest things that I hear from a lot of people when it comes to um, fitness is, um, they struggle to um, get through uh, certain hurdles, especially um, diet. Diet is the big thing. It's a really big deal. Um, diet is the most important thing. Coming to the gym, especially for me, that's like the fun part. That's the part of the day that I really enjoy doing. It's the eating that is almost like a chore. When it comes to overcoming that hurdle, what it really boils down to is just discipline. It's just all about discipline. You gotta just knuckle down and you just gotta power through what, no matter what your diet is and uh, stuff like that. And once you start noticing results too, it is a whole lot easier to be able to get your mental on board. Absolutely, that's another thing. Is when it comes to uh, fitness, um, another hurdle that is really hard for people is they get started and they expect to see results quickly and that is not always the case. Yeah, Seeing true. results, it takes months. But once you finally do start seeing those results, it makes it so worth it. To be so able to worth progress it. With your Absolutely. So we have some excited things coming up for you. So you're training for which competition right now? Right now I'm training for the MPC Viking Championships on October 12th of this year. Um, I'm going to be doing physique novice. It'll be my first competition. Start really killing it in the diet, killing it in the gym. And we're hoping for big things. So that's super exciting. Yeah, and that's you. in Salt Lake City. Is that correct? That is correct. Salt Lake City. Okay, very cool. And the other thing I wanted to ask you, Sam. If you could narrow down one, something that you've had to mentally overcome to stay on your fitness, what's the number one thing? You talked about food being really, really hard, but what would you say is the number one hurdle you have to ever overcome on a daily basis? For me personally, my hardest daily mental hurdle is really just getting through my meals. My meals is the hardest part, because um, right is now- Is it cooking, prepping? What is it exactly about the meals that's the hardest? It's a little bit of everything. Um, as far as prep, um, since I'm on, a, I'm on a cut right now, I'm on my prep, um, so basically what it boils down a lot of different things. There's the actual cooking of the meals, and then there's the eating. Cooking is not hard, it doesn't take long. Make, I maybe take two, or two hours out of the week to get my meals cooked, okay. but the eating constantly. I have to eat about every two to three hours consistently from the time I wake up until I go to bed. Isn't that so. crazy to think? Because I think there's so much misconception in the, in not just in the non-exerciser world but in the fitness industry is you're supposed to like count calories and make exactly. sure that you don't overeat and make sure it really is about quality of eating exactly yeah and my right now from so i went from a bulk which is um a lot more there's a lot higher fats and carbs because you're just purposefully trying to gain weight and right now i'm trying to maintain as much muscle mass as possible while cutting out as much fat as i possibly can so right now i just eat a ton of protein and almost no fat and almost no carbs so it's hard and I get really hungry yeah, really often. Yeah, I get often. really hangry. So, yeah, it's exactly. It's so. so worth it for this competition Absolutely. that's coming up for you. So be sure that you tune in because I am going to do updates on Sam's progress because honestly, I kind of feel like you're the golden child of <laughs> Apple Athletic Club because two of our trainers, this is their son. It's a good time Yeah, for we're sure. so lucky to have Sam here. So be sure you tune in next week for Fitness Friday. And yeah, stay fit. Thanks, Liza. Thanks, Sam.